Hello everyone, welcome to our marriage shift. Today I'm going to be sharing with you something very important. And my name is Simeon Kevin Chuku. If this is your first time in this channel, we celebrate you. Thank you so much. And if you're a returning guest, oh, we celebrate you too. Please help us share this video and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. And if you have, also click the notification bell so that you always be notified when we post new videos. A woman is like a garden. Whatever you plant in it grows. Many people do not understand this. <laughs> the problem is, just like the garden of corn, she doesn't give you exactly the measure of what you have planted. She multiplies what you have planted. Do you know the implication of that? The implication of that is that every woman is a multiplier. Every woman is a multiplier. Whatever seed you sow in her, she will multiply it in return for you. Many men need to understand this, that once you understand this, you will not have, you will bug your life. You won't disturb your life anymore. You're going to enjoy your life because you are going to know that she is your garden. And everything you sow in your garden is what you're going to harvest. If you sow aggression, she's, you're, you're going to harvest hostility. And if you sow happiness, you're going to have this blessedness and cloud nine experience. Okay? You've got to understand that, okay, some people fight their wives for maybe giving birth to only a, a particular gender, maybe male or female. And they do not understand that it is what they have given to the woman that the woman multiplied and brought, brought out. It is not the woman who makes the contribution of the kind of sex that she gives birth to. It is the man who determines. It is the man's semen who determines the sex of the, of the semen, of the pregnancy. It is not the woman. The woman is only a garden, a garden. She's only a multiplier. She will always multiply and bring back to you what you have put in her. That's why you need to be careful the kind of seed you sow in that garden called your wife. That's why you need to be careful the kind of what you plant in that garden. If you plant good words, you plant good, you know, good intentions, you plant love, you plant happiness, you plant serenity, tranquility, peace, you plant the sense of belonging, you plant, you plant in her the sense of belonging, the sense of partnership, the sense of of ownership that she's part of you, right? That she belongs to you and that, that you are not using your brother or your sister as your, your nest of king, that she is your nest of king, all right? When, when she understands that she, has, she is part of you and she's re, you have made her relax and you're giving and all of that, my friend, you will have this peace. <laughs> you will harvest joy. You will harvest happiness. You will harvest relaxation because she knows that she's at home with you. So it, rather than all, the, all these quarrels, all these squabbles here and there, be rest assured that you are harvesting what you're sowing. If you're such a guy who comes in and your, your spouse is afraid of you, you are sowing a dangerous seed you're going to harvest one day and the day of that harvest it will be troublesome, it will be disastrous. Do you know what it means that your wife is afraid of you? And you are priding yourself that your wife is afraid of you? Your wife shouldn't be afraid of you. Your wife is part of you. 
in spite of you for crying out loud. Do not make her be afraid of you because if you do, you might think it is to your advantage, but it will boomerang and you are going to regret that action. So what you want to see, so what you want to reap, that's the way God behaves. You see, when God was creating the world, the Bible says it was full of darkness, you know, it was void, it was formless, and water covered the face of the deep. Do you know what God did? In his mind, he knows exactly what he wanted to see, and he began to speak what he wanted to see. So what did he do? He said, let there be light, because that's what he wanted to see. And what he caught forth came to be. So when you look at your spouse, what do you do? Speak what you want to see. Call her what you want her to become. Adam got up and looked at the woman and said, oh, wow, this is woman. He was the one who named her and called her what she became. It wasn't God who named Eve. It was the man who named his wife. So name your wife, name your spouse, give that name that you want to see. Call her what you want to see. So the seed in her that you want to reap, and that's the law of life. You will enjoy your life. But if you are calling her bad names, calling her stupid, calling her foolish, calling her wayward, calling her prostitute, calling her whatever it is, that's what you're going to also see. You call her troublesome, that's what she's going to give you because that's what you're sowing. You sow, do you know that you sow verbally, you sow physically? So when you give, you are sowing. When you speak, you are also sowing. And you are going to see what you sow. You are going to reap what you sow. The Bible said, do not be deceived, for God is not mocked, for a man shall reap what he sows. Whatever a man sows, that he shall reap. See, do not sow what you don't want to see. Do not be speaking what you don't want to see. Say what you want to see and you will enjoy your life. Thank you so much. I believe that you have found value today. Share this video with your friends and family and, and neighbors and let them all know how to run their homes. Thank you and thank you. Follow us on social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, or reach out to us on WhatsApp. If you have any comments, comment at this comment section. We reach out to you. God bless you. Looking forward to seeing you in another episode.